Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining for another video. So if you watched my last video, you'll have seen that we have moved house and we are now in the new house. I've just picked up the keys. While I'm in here on my own and there's nothing in here, I thought I would show you around. So we come in here and there's like a, just a little sort of porch hallway. I think we might put some like shoe racks or something here. We're gonna completely redecorate um, in here, but it's, it's a good base to start with. We don't need any structural work doing. You come straight into the living room, it's such a nice size. Um, I think because of that, the size of the room and because you walk through there to go to the dining room, I think we're thinking about possibly having like an L-shaped sofa coming along sort of here. So it creates like a walkway to go around here. But, here it is. It's nice. It's actually quite light. It's got nice big windows, which lets a lot of light in. I just need to get um, sampling on the paint colours. I have no idea where to begin. Quite would like a nice off-white colour, I think. Oh, I haven't actually looked in here. What's in there? Oh, just like a little understairs cupboard. So that is the living room. I think we're looking at getting um, sort of like parquet herringbone style flooring as well, which will be really nice because it will run through all through here and through the dining room as well. So this is the dining room. Maybe I should put some lights on. Is it a bit dark? That's better. Um, so this is the dining area and, and I like it because it's really open and I think we'll put a big mirror along here to open it up even more. Um, obviously we're going to take the wallpaper off. I'm thinking of perhaps having like a bench style um, dining table here. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought anything yet because I just wanted to get in and get like a feel for the place. Um, and this is my favorite room of the house. It's the kitchen. This extension was built, I think about four years ago. So it's quite um, new. But it's got these huge fridges. We did actually ask for these to be left. And I just looked in here and there's a bottle of wine. That's so kind of the, uh, the previous owners to leave it for us. Um, but there's like so much storage in here, which is amazing. We need to get some bar stools um, for the breakfast bar here. This is one room that doesn't really need much doing at all. Like the kitchen's like so nice, um, but I think we will paint. I'm not, I'm not so keen on this blue um, paint. What is, what is that? That's kind of cool. I actually quite like that. Um, it's raining, so I'm not going to go outside, but we've got a cute little garden. There's a shed down there. The shed's actually got electricity in there, so I think that can be Tom's man cave. <laughs> These drawers are huge. If you watched my last video um, and saw our previous flat where we lived, you'll just understand how excited I am to be in here. Basically, this the size of this kitchen is probably the same size as our flat. I love it. So nice, it's got this like, high ceiling, it's got the skylights, um, some spotlights there. And then through here is the utility room. Oh, they've left, don't fill this sink, overflows not connected, okay. Um, so our, we've got a washing machine and I don't know what we're gonna put in that gap because we've only got, that space for two units, we've only got one unit. So perhaps we'll try and get another door to put on. What's in here? I'll just under the sink. And this is the downstairs toilet. It has just got a um, toilet, shower, and sink. So let's go back through, and I'm just gonna show you the other room that's downstairs before we go upstairs. So this extra room is gonna be my office, and I've never ever had an office or a proper workspace, so I'm so excited. It's gonna be kind of like an office slash studio. I can film my YouTube videos in here. Um, it's a really, really good size. I'm thinking of having like my desk along here so I can kind of see out of the window. Um, and then I'm not sure what else. I need lots of storage, um, perhaps kind of like a YouTube setup over there. Um, I, ne I need to just live in here a little bit and I think feel what I, what I need. Um, this is quite a handy little area. I've also never had a printer. And when we came to see it, they had a printer up here. So I'm gonna do the same. Okay, so let's go back through the living room and up the stairs. So as you come up the stairs, um, there's the bathroom, one, two, three bedrooms. So let's go into the bathroom. So to be honest, it is quite nice, but obviously we wanna make it our own. So we're gonna put a new bathroom suite in. So we've got a bath and a shower. 
feel really out of breath like it's all the excitement and running around sink toilet and i've always wanted one of those so i could put my towels on it so they're nice and warm when i get out but i've never really had proper bathroom storage so i know we're going to change it but for now that's quite handy so this is the main bedroom and this is going to be our bedroom and um, at the moment it's got a lot of built-in furniture and um yeah it's taking up a lot of space so if we're actually going to rip all of these wardrobes out and then obviously it's going to get go that much further back so if you think that's going to just open up the room so much and then i think in here we're going to carpet all of upstairs I think just personally, I think I prefer carpet in a bedroom. I think it's just a little bit more cozier. And again, we're gonna take all of this out. So I think when we like knock out everything, it's really gonna open up the room. And in here, I just want our bed, like two bedside tables, a TV, um, like really not much because as you saw, our other bedroom was so cluttered. And I think I love a good night's sleep and I just think I've never had that like zen area, if you know what I mean. Um, and just to really chill out and relax. I really want this room to be just very peaceful and minimal and not cluttered. <laughs> So then let's go to the second bedroom. This is gonna be the spare room. I've never really been able to have friends come and stay, so it's gonna be so nice to have people stay over. And then again, I think we're just gonna have like a double bed and bedside tables in here. And then the third bedroom is the small bedroom. And this carpet, this is the kind of carpet I actually like throughout. I really like that sort of speckled look. Um, it's got this really weird box over the stairs, which is a bit annoying, but, I really want to try and get like some sort of built-in wardrobe system going on in here so both Tom and I can have our clothes in here. I was thinking about getting those Ikea ones but I'm not sure. I guess that might be enough distance. I need to have a measure up in here um, and just see what is going to fit. But it'd be great to have both sides um, of the, du the double wardrobes and then make the most of this and have some sort of storage system on top. But yeah maybe we could put like shelves and have all of our shoes or something i'm not sure yet but we need to figure that out we came to view this house twice we came first on our own and just loved it and then we came again and bought our parents because we knew we loved it and we knew we were going to put an offer but i think it's such a big decision and we've never been through this before we just wanted to get like not a second opinion because we knew we wanted to do it more like just a second set of eyes on it sort of thing so yeah, this is only the third time being in here and seeing it without all of their furniture, it gives me a much better idea of how we're gonna do it. So my parents are on their way over. Um, I've been storing loads of stuff at their house so they're gonna drop that off. Um, and then I'm gonna go back with them and because it's my mum's birthday, have some lunch with them. It's now, I think it's about half two. Um, so yeah, and then later, Tom's gonna bring over some bulky stuff like the sofa, um, the washing machine, things like that, because he, his brother's gonna help him um, because tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to help with all that heavy stuff and we're gonna move the rest of the stuff tomorrow. So tonight we're gonna sleep in our flat and hopefully tomorrow we'll be sleeping in here. I've showed you this room already, but it was empty. The sun's just like coming in so nicely. So I just thought I'd show you, it's such a great space. So we've just put our own things in here just for now until we redecorate, but I think we're gonna get redecorating pretty soon. And then in this kind of like little porch area, um, again, we've kind of just like tidied it and put our stuff in here for now, but this is all gonna be redecorated. Um, we've just got like a shoe rack each and we've just put our coats there. But in here, I really want to do some kind of like really jazzy tiles just because it is like a fairly small space. So I feel like you can go a bit more wild with it, if you know what I mean. Um, I love those really busy pattern jazzy tiles, but I wouldn't want them in like a big area. So I think it's perfect for in here. Then we're going to get a new front door and obviously get rid of this uh, lovely lemon. I feel a lot more like settled and stuff. Um, I'm just going to tidy up this room and then I'm going to show you. And then this is our dining area. We're going to remove this wallpaper um, and have, uh, this is just temporary, it's plastic dining set, um, but we're going to have like a built-in bench, I think, along that wall, um, kind of the similar size to that, um, and obviously that fridge um, isn't staying there. That was from our old flat, so that's actually going to go down the shed because we've already got fridges in the kitchen, and these are just put here temporarily as well. I'd really like to get like a long rectangular mirror um, along there to just really open up this room because it is it is a really good size but 
it's a little bit dark. As we're going to have the table on this side, I would like the lights to hang down over the table. So we're going to have to um, have the lighting rewired and moved over. Um, it's just all these little things. You think are little, but they're actually quite big jobs. Um, and Tom is a carpenter, so he doesn't like what's on here at the moment. He like notices all of these things and the skirting boards and the flooring and the walls. And these might need plastered as well when we take the wallpaper off. It kind of seems just little jobs, um, but they're actually quite big jobs. And also the, these pipes, we kind of want to cover these. So I don't know if we're going to box them in or have them... I don't know what they call it, where like re like move the pipes basically to behind the wall. But yeah, so at the moment it's a little bit of a dumping ground, but kind of, I've just tidied it up, so it's a tidy dumping ground. Um, but yeah, that is the dining room. Yesterday when I showed you the garden, it was all wet, so I couldn't really show you properly outside, but um, today it's nice and sunny, so I thought I'd just interrupt this vlog with another video of the garden. It comes with a little garden gnome as well. <laughs> It's nice, it's really cute. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with gardening, so I don't want anything too much. I think this is just the perfect size. And also, I'm just gonna show the kitchen in the light because it was really dark yesterday. I can't wait to get some nice bar stools for here. Sorry, there's like mess everywhere. I was doing to put the washing machine in properly. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing our new home. I'm going to be filming all the renovations and all like the home updates. So please do subscribe if you want to keep up with our updates. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.